What's up, my Rocker fans? Mr. Rocker here. Well, I guess uh, we won't be hearing from Mick Jugger Nuggets anymore. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following his videos, but uh, pretty much uh, all the way from last year until now, it's been uh, scripted and. I gotta say it's, it was it, it was a heck of a time. It was it was a fun time watching them. You know, it sucks that the series had to end, but you know, he has to, he has to focus on other things. But I definitely enjoyed his videos. You know, I'm not gonna sit here bash him out saying what he did was screwed up, but you know that's just that's just what some people do. You know, I mean, I really enjoyed his his, his psycho series and. uh Stuff like that. Those are the things that I'll probably never forget, you know. But I don't think it's going to be the end of him. I mean, he's probably going to do vlogs, but I think that's pretty much it. Like, regular vlogs. He's not going to, you know... Kind of like a, what I do. You know? I don't think it's going to be the end of him completely. It's just, uh... I guess he's going to be working for some uh, production company in uh, L.A. in California. Um, he got a job offer out there. Who knows? He could be there right now. I don't know. I don't know how true this is. I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff going around in the media. You know. You know how that goes. You know. I just can't. I I just you know. Want well, to thank Jesse for. Uh, fantastic uh, series and uh, even though I kind of I kind of figured this is how it was going to end because right, right when um, he did the final transmission video I'm like okay yeah, this, is, this is probably it he's probably done he's just got to do another cycle video for the cycle series and then after that they, believe it or not guys I actually had a dream that this would actually occur it sounds weird but I knew something, something was up. Cause the past couple of days I've been pondering. I'm like, oh boy, is, is he really gonna shoot his dad? No, guys, that was, that was definitely scripted. That was uh, just a blank shot, whatever the hell it was. But I definitely, I definitely enjoyed his videos. I mean, it was a good way they lasted. I'm not gonna sit here and bash on him, cause you know what? He, he, you know, he was doing it to entertain you guys. I mean, he is a filmmaker. He, he has a degree in... Uh, he's a film and film student, so... He was a film student, so... For those of you who didn't know. But anyway. I just... I just don't think you guys should be too upset about this matter. I know you, a lot of young folks out there would be wicked upset about this, but... I kind of... You gotta think about it. The signs were there that the end was coming. If you think about it, I mean, we, he had a great run, great videos. I mean, those last two videos he did, he got two million views. Two million. So I don't know if where he lived in New Jersey was where he actually lived. I don't know. So if you guys know where he actually lived, leave it in the comments below, because I'm, I'm a little confused about that. Um, and his parents didn't really get divorced. It was, it was part of a skit. Part of a, you know, a script that, they, that he wrote. And basically the job he's going to be doing is, um, is, uh, like... Productive movies like writing stories, uh, writing, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that he has a degree in, you know. Which I'm happy for him. It just sucks that his channel had to end like this, but you gotta know when to throw that throw in the towel, guys. I mean, he is young. I mean, he's been doing it for years. He's been doing it for ten years. So you gotta think he's had a long, he's had a pretty long career on YouTube. So. But all you a drug of Nuggets fans out there, don't be upset. I know, I know, I know what he did was a shitty thing. He ended the series. He ended his channel. He's gonna be back. 
Uh, probably just doing regular vlogs. You know, about where he's at or whatever. I don't think he's gonna fully quit YouTube. He's just gonna, he's just gonna do that. But, I don't know. I just think this whole thing's a little confusing to me. But if you guys have any insight on this, on this topic, leave it in the comments below also. Because I'm a little confused. I knew from the final transmission video, or actually towards the, towards the end, when the harvest, that the, the series is ending. Like it was, he's gonna get rid of Juggies Powwow, the Triple M, uh, the uh, Powwow, stuff like that. I, I knew it was gonna come to an end at some point. I, I knew it was, I knew it was somewhat staged and somewhat not. You know, you don't know what to expect because he made you believe him. I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty talent. That's pretty good talent right there. So I don't think we'll be uh, seeing him on YouTube for the next few days because I think he's you know probably gonna be in LA and some shit like that. But anyway, I just figured I'd, you know give you some insight on him. Uh, so just forget that last video I did of him. Well, don't forget it, but you know. But on with today's vlog, uh, what if you were to make a famous person, who would it be? It could be anybody you like. It could be a movie, a singer, an actress, a, a movie star, whatever you guys. <coughs> and uh yeah so uh, comment below your responses about that too I know I'm asking to comment about a lot of stuff but it's been a confusing uh two weeks uh trying to figure out make dragon nuggets and um what is what is uh I guess all good things have to come to an end, you know, at some point. Like I said earlier in this video, but um, I'm pretty sure he'll have an explanation to why he ended the series and everything. I'm sure he'll, he'll explain that in a later video. I hope. I mean, at least he needs to give his fans, you know, some insight of what's what happened. Because I'm pretty sure his, his fans are like, "What the fuck just happened?" Is this all staged or scripted or a skit? They don't know. So, I mean, it's entirely up to you guys, you know. Yeah, as you can tell, I shaved my beard off, guys. Uh, yeah, I did that a couple of days ago. That's why I freaking pricker as fuck, so it's got growing thicker. Oh, but anyway. Yeah, but yeah, guys, if you were to meet a favorite celebrity, who would it be? Who would be your all-time favorite person to see in real life? By the way, guys, uh, every vlog I do is, is real. I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to you guys. Um, every vlog I've done is pretty, pretty much what it is, you know? I have nothing scripted. Everything's just hundred percent real. There's no hiding nothing. I, you know, I, I'm just gonna give that to you guys for the record, so that way you guys don't think, well, this guy's a fucking fake motherfucker. Before you, before you even judge that, there's nothing about my videos that are fake. I mean, I vlog about random shit. You guys seen it? But um. I mean, the first thing I'd like to meet is, uh, well, we already know this, Taylor Swift, so. Yeah, you, you heard it from my mouth, so. I'm not afraid to admit it, guys. Hell no. But for a classic rock, I'd like to meet the band, uh, Rush. I'd, like, I'd definitely like to meet all of them. Well, Neil Peart, I don't know if I'll be able to meet him, because he's not really a people person. 
because I, I I watched a thing on YouTube that uh, he's he's not he's not really good with people. So he, uh, Getty Lee says nothing personal. It's just how he is. Don't take it personally. So those are the two people, two things that I like to meet in my life. But comment with your with your uh, with your celebrities. Who, who would you want to meet? Let's just throw it out there. Just throw it out there on the comments below. It could be a crush. It could be freaking who you who you idolize. Who, who's your idol or? Well, I just gotta say th thank you, Jesse. Thank you for our amazing series. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you actually inspired me to be a vlogger, and so the kid behind the camera. So, Michael, if you're watching this. Please don't think this is. Uh, I'm not gonna attack you. I don't. I don't attack people. It's just stupid and wrong. You know. I think Michael's a pretty cool guy. Jesse's a pretty cool, pretty nice guy. He's pretty cool. I haven't talked to him personally, but that that'd be awesome. Uh, I just want to say, Jesse, thank you. Thank you. It was fun while it lasted. And I hope to, I hope to see you again soon. Well, I've done this vlog uh, for quite a while now, so I'm going to leave it here. If you guys liked, liked what you've seen this video, drop a like on it if you enjoyed it. And remember, if you guys have any, any celebrity crushes or anybody you want to meet uh, famous-wise, Leave it in the comments below. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to read what you guys write. And for people that say he was fake, uh, everybody knew was staged. Everybody knew, pretty much. Even I did. At first, I'm like, well, it's kind of real. And then it's kind of staged and scripted. I knew it's such a Maybe, maybe this uh, last month. So I'm like, okay, this is it. This is the finale. He's got to be doing it. He's got to be done with this soon. But definitely, guys, leave your answers in the comments below. Uh, it's just, it, it, I just want to say that Jesse, thank you, thank you very much for being a part of our lives every day. I, I always look forward to your videos. It sucks that it has to end like that, but you know what? I enjoyed it anyhow. So thank you, Jesse. And I hope uh, good luck to you in your job. And I hope to uh, see you on YouTube soon. Well, at least vlog-wise. I hope, hope you can give us an explanation what what the hell is going on. That'd be awesome. Anyway, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this, love you guys every day. Smile, cause, cause God gave you another day, and I'll see. You, tune in next time, tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next one, Mr. Rocker. Signing out.